up guys? Welcome back. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Baby, I can't see what I've done to a man right now. <laughs> Goodness me. What's up guys? So you see, uh, in one of our videos we spoke about planning our wedding and and uh, we spoke about the people who really helped us during the planning and the process and the people who never failed us. <laughs> Do you know why? He's shocked! Today, I told you, Gomi, I'm a king of surprises, so hey, don't try. I just shocked <laughs> I just shocked him again. This is a guy who took our photos in during our wedding. This is a photographer. This is a guy who during the process his father died. But the guy stayed with us. Oh goodness. He was there, he was crying, covering the tears. He was telling his mood was changing. Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them what happened. 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 Yeah, so I think the wedding was on a uh, the engagement was on a, 17 a Friday. Yes. Yeah, so that morning I was told that my dad was here yeah, was in the hospital. Ah, so you have in the morning? Uh, it was they, they took him to the hospital okay. during the week. Okay. So um the the situation got worse. Yeah. But I was in contact with my brother, so he was like, okay, um this is what is happening, they fixed some oxygen yeah. and a whole lot. So, but I, I knew I needed to keep a clear head yeah. to have a good shoot. Yeah. So while the shoot was going on, so my mind was like you know, a little bit shaking and all that. But yeah. I really wanted to keep a straight face, like yeah. nobody has to know what's going on. Yeah. Like that, so. so I picked up my phone and I saw this call from so my brother. Then my heart was like, mm. I, need to hear, <laughs> I need to hear what this wow. guy was. Wow. So I picked, so he called me, so I had to excuse myself and I went outside and then he told me that yeah, my dad has passed down. Wow. wow. And do you know he kept his cool, he kept the momentum. I mean he was losing focus at a bit at some point. I was wondering why, but I didn't know. And do you know that the guy kept this thing quiet, nobody knew, we didn't know until we were done with the engagements. We didn't know. We went to the hotel, we we're done with the wedding. We we finished like evening at a reception, we were going back to the hotel before we were told the story. And this guy was encouraging us. Like the things we went through, this guy was encouraging us. So this is the, the photographer guy. This is a photographer guy who 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 whose father died but stood in to take our photos. God bless you. God bless you, man. I decided to surprise him. So since we got married and we moved, today is the only day he has come to visit us. Since that whole time. So like I decided to six months now. Six months now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean because he has to go and bury his father in Nigeria and all of that. Charlie, this guy has been a brother, he has been a friend, he has been all of it. He has been there for us to, through thick and thin, man. Thick and thin. So that is the photographer guy. If you need any photography for your wedding, your birthday, your everything, <laughs> reach out this guy. This guy is the one who will sacrifice for you and do what to pay him after or before. I too much. I too much. <laughs> Like oh goodness God! So this is a guy. This is a guy. He's your right guy for photos and everything. Yeah. He will disappoint you, guys. Thank you so much for watching, man. <laughs> Say peace out to them. Bye. <laughs>